Hey guys, so today we're going to be uh, going over tab bar demo and uh, uh, map kit and uh, web, uh, web view. So let's just dive right in and create a new project. Uh, we're going to make this a single view application. Uh, let's just call it tab demo. And we'll save it. Um, save it wherever you usually save. Um, I'm going to call mine underscore live uh, to differentiate it from my other one. Okay, so now we have an empty project. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main route storyboard and we're going to delete our current view controller because we will be using the default one. And then we will uh, drag out a tab bar controller. And let's uh, turn off auto layout just to speed up this demo. So now you have two tabs, as you can see, item one and item two. Let's name the first one the web tab. So what we're going to do is here, title it web or uh, map, and then we'll make the second one web. And then let's create uh, our classes. We're going to go to the new file. We're going to click Cocoa Touch class. And then we're going to add map tab view controller. And then we're also going to add web tab view controller. Okay, so now let's go back to our storyboard and make each of these view controllers their respective classes. So map, so this is going to be map tab view controller and this is going to be web tab view controller. At this point, let's build to make sure we're error free. Uh, make this the make this our initial view controller. Um, now let's build to make sure we're error free. Okay, so at this point we're uh, we have our basic tab bar controller. Now let's drag out a map view to add to the map view controller um, and make it fill the entire screen. Um, and we have to realize that whenever we add a map view, we have to add the map kit framework, so we'll do that. We add mapkit.framework. Um, you'll see it's added right there. Okay, and now we're going to drag out a segmented control. And we'll make the first one say default and we'll make the second one say satellite oh, it looks like I misspelled satellite okay 
So there we go. Default and satellite. Ah. Uh, Okay, um, now we're going to want to change the uh, background color of this to be something other than clear, um, just because uh, we want it to look nice. So I'll make it look just light green. And we're going to change uh, the tint color, which is the text color, to white. So now it's like a green and white segment control. And now we're going to connect both of them uh, to our code. So we're going to connect the map view as uh, main map view. Now we're going to connect the segment control. And we're also going to add an action. That says segment control changed. So let's go see what's wrong. OK, it says uh, it doesn't know what MK map, map view is. And that's because we have to import map kit okay so now we've connected all of our objects from the storyboard to uh, our code and we're ready to implement the map view controller uh, so let's do that now okay so uh, we're gonna go into so as soon as our view loads, we don't really want to do anything. So basically, all we're going to do here is we're going to check. So whenever the segment changes, uh, we're going to do an if statement. And we're going to do uh, segmented uh, main segment control dot selected index equals zero this means the first segment control was selected this is going to be default was selected otherwise satellite was selected Okay, so from here, we know that default was selected. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, the main map view and set the uh, map type to MK map type dot standard. And we're going to do the same thing here with dot satellite. So now whenever, so now if you run, we're going to give it a minute to load. But if you'll notice, if you change between these, it'll change now. Um, that bright green was a very bad choice. So let's, um, again, you can experiment with this to how you like. You can customize your app. That's part of the development process. So let's change it to red, maybe. Yeah. OK, so now if we run again, this time it'll be red. And uh, we didn't have to write a single piece of code for that. Um, yeah, it looks a lot nicer, and you can still change and so on. Okay, so now we're going to implement this other tab. If you go to the other tab, there's nothing there right now. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to drag out a UI web view. And we're going to do it, make it do something similar, but not. We don't want it to go all the way out because we will be doing something else with that space. Okay, so uh, with that space, we're going to add three buttons. Refresh. Forward. And back. The cool thing about UI Web View is you can just drag the buttons directly. You can just make these buttons do their actions right within Storyboard. So if you control drag from the button to the web view, uh, you can just say back goes back, and you can say forward goes forward, and you can say refle refresh reloads. So those buttons do what they want, what, what you want them to do, but they still, uh, but the web view still loads with nothing on it. So we're going to fix that now by connecting the web view. And going here. And now we're going to implement the web view controller. And what we're going to do is we're going to create an NSURL. So this is going to be let Google URL NSURL uh, and we want URL by string so string and we're going to pass in HTTPS www.google Okay, and now we have to create a URL request. Um, this is uh, this is what WebView needs to load a page, not NSURL. We need the NSURL request. So we say let URL request NSURL request. And we can just pass in the Google URL that we just created up there. Again, notice how we use let and not var because we're not changing these variables. And then now it's as simple as calling main webview.load request. And we just pass in this URL request up there. Uh, oh, right. So um, this is going to be an optional, so we're going to have to unwrap it. Okay, so now if we run, you'll notice this is, the map view is the same as before, and you can uh, scroll or zoom in and change it however you want. But if you go to web view, uh, you'll also notice that google.com loads now. And uh, this is basically a full browser, so you can just do. Uh, uh, you can just search, and if you press back, you'll go back. If you press forward, you'll go forward. If you press refresh, you'll refresh. And that's a quick overview of tab view controller and uh, how to implement a basic web view and map view.